Our ministry is a worldwide ministry to reach individuals, you know, around the world, wherever we go. Rosemont Missionary Baptist Church finds people who may not have known they were lost. It's Sunday morning. We're putting faith in focus. Imagine you're sitting on a park bench and someone, maybe a prostitute or a drug addict, sits next to you. Would you move away? For many, the answer is easy, yes. But what, if, but what if you're in church? How does that change things? A church in Jackson is taking a very active role changing lives in this week's Faith and Focus. A member since 91 at Rosemont MB Church, Katina Dennis is now an usher. She says that's a long way from her early life addicted to crack. And I come from a family that was torn apart by drugs and alcohol. And I was in a house, no lights, no gas, no water, just trying to make it. Rehab at Whitfield plus a stay at a three-quarter way house brought her here. She says that first service is the day she received Jesus. And the more I tried to sit there, the harder he was pulling me. And I just got up and I went up to the front and pastor asked, uh, if you die right now, you certain you'll go to heaven? I'm like, no, nah, I know I wouldn't because all the stuff I had did, you know. Our vision here is where the hurting, where the depressed, where the confused and frustrated can find love, hope, help, and acceptance and forgiveness. And that's the principle that, that Jesus taught. We have a great lesson this morning. Pastor Jimmy Lee Edwards is constantly reaching to the surrounding community to spread this message, evangelizing. And Pastor Edwards doesn't describe this church as non-traditional, but rather more progressive than others in the area, simply summarizing the purpose of the church as creating friendships. Everybody don't need money. People really are looking for a friend where they can confide in, where they can communicate. Somebody that understand their feeling. He told Katina 22 years ago, now go and sin no more. It's what the Bible says Jesus told Mary Magdalene and a dedication to help the new member find her way. You know, cause that was a burden and a weight. You know, living a life of using drugs and alcohol and being on crack, you know, you do a lot of things as a woman that you're really not proud of and that you really don't want to do, but you do it. You know, so you can t continue to get high, sometimes just to get a meal, you know, sometimes just to have a place to lay your head. So I just thank God for that day that I received Christ because it liberated me, it freed me from all my past sins that I didn't have to walk around and carry no more. My life has changed tremendously. I'm married, got a wonderful husband that loved me, you know, 18-year-old son, you know, God is just good. Rosemont Church is part of Working Together Jackson, an interchurch group. They've worked to organize community cleanups and is working in area prisons to help reintegrate people in the community. And if you'd like the viewers of News Channel 12 to learn more about your community, you can find my contact information in the faith section of WJTV.com. We'll be right back. Fourteen-year-old Jaleel Jones bangs the congas at the start of worship. He says helping building the energy is a fun job, but today it's especially important. It's third Sunday, we have a youth Sunday. It's where the kids, they uh, do what most of what the grown people, the elders do on a regular Sunday. As you get older, you know, men, and, young men and women, they have responsibilities and stuff like that. And this, uh, this, this is a big part of responsibility because it's practice and practice and practice. You got to learn your stuff and stuff like that. Our praise team has a song just for you. Our idea is that we can teach young people how to love on each other. We can teach young people how to have respect for other people. And we do that through giving them opportunities uh, on Sunday mornings or Wednesday nights. We have the roof on this entire building. Come on, celebrate. You may recognize Pastor Tony Yarber from his post here at City Hall. He's city councilor for Ward 6, but at Relevant Empowerment Church, he's focused on that second word, empowerment, challenging people to find ways to make their situations better by guiding them economically, spiritually, and socially. There's no secret that our city 
uh, suffers from uh, a lot of crime, and specifically crime that involves people taking other people's lives. That's not something that police officers change. We can put a thousand police officers on the street. That's not what's going to change that. What's going to change that uh, is churches like ours that are attempting to help to change the mindsets of people. helping to reestablish a moral compass in people and teaching people the respect for life, and that comes through the love of God, the love of Jesus Christ. The church's building is in need of just a few more repairs, and many of the original church members say they actually remember the humble beginnings, and as the membership continues to increase, their message or goal continues to spread. Once you start with one person, it can go to a lot of people because that one person can be that one person that could change somebody. And it's, uh, that one person can be a leader. And me, myself, I, I'm a leader. I don't mean to brag, but I'm, I'm, I have to be a leader because I have a younger brother. He looks up to me. How old is he? He's seven. I think it's so important to stress to individuals how all young people are not doing bad things. The pastor of Jackson's progressive Morning Star Baptist Church reaches out to children while reflecting on his own age. It's Sunday morning. We're putting faith in focus. It is tough to be young. When you're young, you might not have the wisdom to make informed decisions. And even if you do, it may be difficult for others to take you seriously based on your age. But at one church, they've embraced their pastor's youth. And it's made a big change in their community as he puts faith in focus. In the book of Revelations, Jesus Christ is referred to as a morning star. Uh, well, the summer says, I will bless the Lord at all times. It's this church's namesake going along with the word progressive, a describer Pastor Willie Tobias takes to heart. When he came here, he was young and he still is, you know. One of the most difficult things being a uh, young pastor is nine times out of ten everybody else is older than you. Me personally, I, I'm very proud of my age. I'm only 37 years old and I'm one of the youngest or younger pastors here in the city of Jackson. So I'm very proud of that and I think that shows. His focus, one he's passed on to the congregation, is evangelizing. To Pastor Tobias, it's an injustice to keep God in a box. Summer, the church served 2,500 free meals and a childhood lunch program, and members continue to look out for ways to reach out. I use the simple uh, analogy: if if we catch the fish, he'll clean the fish. So if we could just catch them, grab their attention, preach and teach the message of Jesus Christ, then the rest of it is left up to him. He'll draw all people unto him, and he'll clean us up to the point where he would have us to be. And some church members say that it's Pastor Tobias's youthful energy specifically that's led to the recent growth here at Progressive Morning Star Baptist Church. Take nobody, do me like God led him to this church, and he led him to this church for a reason. You know, regardless of the old or the young, whatever, you know, he always bring them in. You know, he brings the young in, he brings the old in, because he's teaching the word. Uh, I like to remind people, regardless of how old you are, how young you are, you can still be an instrument for God. So that's something I'm very proud of. Can I just preach in this house this morning? Just because.